three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Lift off. Ready? Er. Okay. So a few weeks ago, our trusty blender broke. I don't know what happened, but it just started leaking. Like you put it in and then all throughout the bottom, all of the smoothie would start coming out, which is a huge problem for us because Lou and I had become addicted to having huge smoothies every day in the summer for breakfast. And so it was kind of a tragic moment when we, our blender broke. Like we had to decide do we want to invest in a Vitamix or one of those other crazy blenders. And then we, Lou had the brilliant idea to try to use our immersion blender. So one second our immersion blender instead, which kind of is a weird thing to do for smoothies. Like I think usually people just use it for soups or making refried beans, but we realized that not only could you make smoothies, but you could make the best banana ice cream ever. So let's go show you how. So step one is to collect a lot of bananas. The more the better, and then you just let them ripen. Ripe bananas are easier to digest and they have more antioxidants. These ones aren't ripe. These ones are almost ripe, and these ones are perfect. Step two is to peel them, cut them, and then put them in a Ziploc bag in the freezer for at least 12 hours, and they can stay there for up to three to four months. Step three is to take them out of the freezer and then let them thaw for 30 to 40 minutes before blending them. This will make them creamier, and your neighbors won't hate you as much for making all that noise. Once they've thawed, Put them in a large bowl with any other things you'd like. Think fresh or frozen fruit or maca powder or cinnamon. Just get creative with it. And then all you have to do is blend. Thank <laughs> you. 